I've got a job for you, Thomas. I'm listening. I'm uploading information on Quan Li, a high-profile Chinese official targeted for elimination. He's discovered intel linking the Chinese government to slave labor activity on a hidden oil pipeline being constructed in the jungle near Mogang. He's threatening to blow the whistle on the entire operation. Li is currently in Al Qaim. We need you to get him back to China. Your contact for the operation is Colonel Miller. He'll help you escort Li to safety. Sounds like fun. Ethan, we just lost our radar, so I'm flying blind here. There are at least three radar jammers down there scrambling our signal. You want to get a beat on that sniper. You need to take out those jammers. the other two jammers, we should be able to get a fix on that sniper and locate Quan Lee.
down. Just one more and our radar will be back online.
Attention, the sniper is just up ahead in the building on your left at the crossroad. Looks like you won't be able to move forward without paying him a visit. Stay close to the wall and sneak up on him. over here. What the fuck are you doing? We were supposed to protect him. No, you were. What are you? Can't you guess? We're paid soldiers. I just got paid more to switch teams. You son of a bitch. You knew the risk, shithead. I just wish I could feel bad for killing you. Decker, what the hell have you gotten me into? Your man slaughtered the diplomat, then he turned on me. I thought Miller was one of us. Sorry, Mason. We had a suspicion he turned. Unfortunately, we had to put your ass on the line to draw him out. Miller's got some sort of tattoo on his neck. A weird symbol. It's not anything I recognize. I'm uploading a picture. Maybe you can make something of it. Got it. Last intel showed him in Mugong. I'm guessing he was there to meet with the Chinese. Presumably to discuss the shutdown of construction on the oil pipeline. And figure out how to put a stop to Quan Li before he can go public. Word is, the military has taken over an entire village and forced the locals to continue construction on the pipeline. Stand by, Thomas. I've got a chopper en route to airlift you out of there. We're sending you to Mogong. One more thing. Rumor is there's a contracted third party overseeing the entire operation. You think there's a connection between Miller and this third party? I'll keep digging on my end. You do the same. Mason, there's a village nearby, not far from this pipeline. It's where they're housing the slave laborers. Let me guess. You want me to head there and gather some intel on the operation? Sharp as attack, Thomas. Don't waste any time getting there. I knew 
I ever waste time? It's heading your way. Understood. I'm glad you're okay. Looks like it's going to come around for another path. Get away from those bridges as soon as you can. The jungle will make for better cover. to read from the satellite view. I think if you go down the hill, you'll find a stream. Follow it to reach the village.
like you've reached some kind of ruin. You're gonna have to navigate through it to reach the village. This village is full of slave labor, and guards making sure the laborers don't get any bright ideas about escaping. Your best bet is to make contact with the slaves, and see what information you can get out of them. I don't imagine they're gonna be too talkative with guards around. Bingo. But if you take out some of the guards, I bet that will loosen a few tongues. Sounds like a plan.
No hurt me. Take it easy. I'm not going to hurt you. Do you speak any English? No English. Speak a very small English. God damn. I need to get to that pipeline. And I... Pipeline? Yeah. You understand pipeline? Pipeline. Yes. Pipeline. What is this? Some sort of key card? Uh, this, 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 uh, this card. Make it go, go up, go, go down. The key card is to an elevator. Okay, I gotcha. No language barrier there. Thanks a bunch, pal. that was supposed to be shut down, right? You got it. Somebody got it up and running again in secret. And that rat Miller sold out to the highest bidder to make sure it stayed secret. Yeah, but not for long. Destroy the pipeline, Mason. The slaves will no longer have anything to work on. And, and the terrorists lose a huge chunk of change for their future operations. You're the one who's been causing our boss all the headaches. That's right. And I'm just getting started. I don't think so. We got orders to finish this. And finish you. Well, you're certainly welcome to try.
Captain, your work is done here. Head to the extraction point. 10-4, boss lady. Don't call me boss lady. Casey, you read me? I copy, Mason. Loud and clear. What do you got for me? Remember that weird symbol we found tattooed on Miller's neck? Well, this guy has the same one. Tattooed on the same place. Looks like they belong to the same clubhouse. Yeah, right. A clubhouse that just happens to employ some of the most elite professional soldiers on the planet. So why haven't I heard of it? A damn good question. And I might know how you can find an answer. We interrogated one of the insurgents who attacked your convoy in al Qaim, and when we asked- One of them survived? Damn. I must be slipping. Good thing for us that you are, because he spilled plenty of intel. Guy belonged to a group known as the IAA, the Imad al-Din Alliance. First in command is Imad al-Din, a murderous bastard who left a trail of bodies wherever he goes. Makes his money off of drug operations all across the Middle East. Has connections to just about every other major terrorist leader in the world. You want me to track him down and figure out his connection to Miller? Bingo. The majority of his dealings are out of a base in the Karakoram Mountains. Mason, according to our intel, there are multiple entrances to the cave system here. Each will be well guarded, so this isn't going to be easy. I'll contact you when you've reached the cave. All right.
Casey. I just got a visual on Aldine. He's meeting with a contact. Identity unknown. Stay on Aldine, Mason. That's your target. Seek. Position, Decker. You hear me? Mason? Mason? All right, I can hear you. Not for long. I'm losing the signal. I'll try and be quick. I'm marking some locations on your PDA to orient you in the cave. There's not much intel, but we know that there is a tunnel leading out to the camp. I can't squeeze it. Keep that itchy trigger finger of yours in check. We lost Aldine, and his friend may be the only way of ascertaining his whereabouts.
Please, don't hurt me. Hurt you? I already hurt you. And after what I've just been through, I've got a lot worse than that planned for you. No, please. Have mercy. I'm not one of them. I'm just an emissary. You got five seconds to explain, emissary. I'm just a middleman. I keep people happy. I cultivate friendships, smooth things over between my people and various Middle Eastern organizations. Your people are terrorists, and so are the groups they associate with. Perhaps, but we are well funded. A shrewd businessman like yourself would be generously compensated if you were to join our circle of friends. Not gonna happen. It was good enough for your friend Miller. I'm not Miller, and like I said, not gonna happen. Now, quit stalling me. Spill your guts, Bashar, or I'm gonna make a cave painting out of your fucking brains. Aldine and the Moor, our meeting not far from here, just beyond the entrance of these very caves. Thanks. You, you're going to let me live? Weak American. Were our situation reversed, I would not hesitate to put a bullet in your head. Good point. Looks like we hit Pater with Imad. He's led us to the real power player of this operation, the Moor. He's the new target, Mason. Stay on the Moor and don't let him escape. And Aldine? He's irrelevant. No longer of use to us. Kill him if he gets in the way. Just don't lose sight of the Moor. Looks like I'm just in time. Casey, check this out. I'm tracking the handoff. Aldine and... Who is this Moore guy supposed to be anyway? You've been out of the field for too long, Mason. He's on the most wanted list of just about every counter-terrorist agency on the planet. Dirtbag of the highest degree, as far as I'm concerned. Oh, yeah? Terrorist recruiter, munitions dealer, drug runner, you name it. He's got his fingers deep in a lot of dirty, dirty business. His teaming up with Aldine makes for a deadly combination. Yeah, well, let's see what I can do about breaking up the happy couple. Mason, they've got reinforcements coming. You're surrounded! Shit, I'll call you after I handle this.
never found. Up the top of the you. Judgment Day is coming to your infidel country, and I will be in charge. Down, Decker. Nice work, but now get your ass in gear and find the moor. He's a much bigger fish than Aldine. The moor is crucial to the entire operation, whatever it is. Get to him, and a big piece of the puzzle will fall into place. Loud and clear, boss lady. And stop calling me boss lady. Jesus, look at all this product. I think I'm getting high just standing here. Hey you! Yeah you! I'm sick and tired of this. I've been chasing halfway around the world after you, your terrorist friends and all your bullshit. I'm gonna put a stop to this, so it might as well be now. You wanna end this right here, you son of a bitch? Or are you afraid of getting your hands dirty? Afraid? Little man. <laughs> Hardly. Merely disinterested. I pay handsomely, so I don't have to get my hands dirty. Why should I waste my time when there are plenty of money hungry cutthroats at my disposal to serve my every whim? People not so different than yourself! I'm nothing like your people. I kill scum like you. I don't work for them. Thus far, you've proven exceptionally difficult to kill. And a worthy adversary. But your luck won't last forever. Maybe I'll see you again, but I doubt it.
got some firm intel. Confirmation from one of my undercover sources about who and what we're going up against. A man named Gavin Wall was kidnapped recently. Wall's a scientist specializing in advanced weapons development with multiple specializations in technologies, including nuclear, biological, and chemical. A militia group in the vicinity of Yebo grabbed him and is holding him for ransom and God knows what else. I've uploaded you the coordinates. Roger that. And Mason, is there any chance I can get you to do this quietly? This would go a lot easier if you didn't attract attention. You can ask, sure. But I can't give you any guarantees.
old timer. You okay? Can you walk? Yes, yes, I can walk. I need to find a way to the prison. You know of any? There is a passage through the jungle, hidden by thick vegetation. But it is not safe. You let me worry about that. Can you take me there? Sure. Follow me. But don't say I didn't warn you when you run into trouble. There is an entrance to an old cave. It leads to the pit mine. You'll be going alone from here. Thanks.
nous avons besoin. I beg you! We can help you get to the mining camp. The gate is secured with a special mechanism. I will go forward and wait for you. I will stay here until it's safe to go outside.
moves, Mason. With Mace out of the way, you got a clear shot to the prison camp.
baby brother. Did you really think I'd leave you here to rot? No, not so long as I'm able to create all those devices your employers like to detonate so much. <laughs> You've grown far too cynical in your old age, Gavin. Who do you think you are? Me? Don't pose for that family Christmas card just yet, boys. You're not exactly home free. Who? Just some nobody. A nobody who's done a pretty effective job at being a pain in the ass. I got a score to settle with you, Wall, for what you did to a friend. Remember Hong Kong and an operative named Decker? Vaguely. But I don't have time to play in your little revenge fantasy. Take care of him, Kahira. We have business elsewhere. With pleasure, Ethan. Take your brother and go. I'll make sure this one doesn't trouble you anymore. Are you willing to die for that jackass? It's Wall I'm after, not you. Let me pass and I'll let you live. We both know that's not going to happen. This obsession with Ethan. Sounds to me you've made the mistake of taking this job too personally. Other people are just obstacles between me and my next payday. <coughs> obstacles that are above all else. Expendable. Well, I guess you made your point. You deserve to be killed, and I'm gonna do this world a favor. The entire op just took a very bad turn, Mason. Getting Ethan Wall together with his brother was just about the last thing we wanted to see. They're en route to the headquarters of their operation. We've got a contact within their organization. Meet up with her and she can help you get inside. So where am I headed to this time? Donetsk, the red light district to be precise. A hotel brothel that serves as a front for Wall. I'm on it. Sit back, good looking. I show you good time. No, really, I got an appointment to keep. Plenty of time for appointment later, mister. You relax now. I dance sexy for you. Sorry, sweetheart, but this isn't gonna work out. I'm in a hurry and I'm far too sober for this. I need to see Elena Petrova. You know her? What's this? You know like fun, mister? Elena, goddammit, where is she? Fine. Elena is upstairs. It is area where only important people is allowed. Those floors off limits, by order of Boss Ethan. Guards everywhere, you no get past. I wouldn't bet on that. You in for big disappointment, American. Elena no dance for you like I dance. Elena no show you good time like I do.
How's it going, Mason? Having fun yet? Not as much as you are for sending me here. Admit it, you're enjoying this, aren't you? <laughs> Maybe I am. It's just so rare I get to see you squirm. Trying to work here, Casey. Okay. Just make sure that's all that you do. Elena Petrova? Yes. And you must be Thomas Mason. I'm looking for Ethan Wall, Elena. And I understand you can lead me to him. He's here. In the garage, along with his brother. Good. I'm looking forward to another shot at getting both of those assholes. Not so fast. The garage. You will not find it. Not on your own. What are we talking about? Some sort of hidden entrance? Yes, Mr. Mason. A concealed door, disguised as a closet in room 33. It will take you to the garage, a sort of makeshift base of operations. Where Ethan can oversee his more shady dealings. Yes, and the only way you will get through is this key card. Once you reach room 33, look for an elevator. That will take you to the basement where Ethan Wall and his brother are holed up. You've been a big help, Elena. Thanks. Believe me. It is my pleasure. which means I got half of what I'm looking for right in front of me. Ethan's got the device. Killing me won't change that. No, but it will ensure you won't provide Ethan with any more devices in the future. I gotta tell you, Gavin, your career prospects are looking bleak. Oh, is that supposed to scare me? <laughs> Look around you. You're completely outnumbered. Do you really think you're in a position to make threats? I'm sure of it, Gavin. I am going to kill you, and anybody else stupid enough to try to stop me. All you're going to do is die a fool's death. Kill him!
kill me, but my genius will live on for my creators. Here we are, the ultimate battle of brains versus brawn. Fight, Mason! Fight! <laughs> Да, 
Там что? for this for a long time, haven't you? Dreaming about the day you could get revenge for what I did to your pretty little friend's face. Among other things, there's not enough hours in the day to list all the shitty things you've done. <laughs> you say that like it's a bad thing. It's over now, Wall. You're finished. Ah. I've heard the same thing from better agents than you, and not a single one of them is left alive to threaten me again. Half my job's done, Ethan. Your brother's dead by my hand. Ugh, honestly. Could your tactics be any more transparent? Is that supposed to make me mad? Good me to attacking you in a blind rage. Huh, <laughs> Gavin was a twat. He had a big brain, true, but weapon tech geeks are a dime a dozen. Employing him was just another way to line my pockets. You're a cold bastard, Wall. Ah. Uh, that's what makes me the best at what I do. You ready to die, Wall? Born ready. Question is, are you? I'm going... I'm going to make you suffer, fucker! Yo! 
You're going to pay for that, you piece of filth! I'm going to make you suffer, fucker! You're going to wake up with a hell of a lamp, but at least you'll be waking up, which is more than I can say for Ethan Wall. And speaking of Ethan, thanks for doing my job for me, hero. That little apparatus of his is going to make my new employers very happy. Bitch. What do you mean, left him? Alive, you mean? He's complicated things enough. There wasn't time. Consider it one final loose end that needs tying. We don't like loose ends in this business, Elena. In our business, loose ends will get you killed. Now be quiet and let me conclude my business. Is it secure? It is safe, secure, and it is installed as planned. Good. If it is war the Americans want, it is war they shall receive. And it is the mercenaries of the world who shall reap the rewards. Indeed, they will. 